Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about box black color, regular professional black color, and why you can't have silver hair if you have um, artificial dark color. Hell, some of you with um, natural dark color can't have silver hair. So we're gonna be talking about this silver hair trend and going through why you can't, it's just not possible. Basically, all you're gonna be able to hear is the girl across the hall because I film in my salon and she is just loud. She has no volume control, so, so sorry for that. Today's video is about black hair color. So we're gonna be doing semi, a level 1A semi, which means like ash, like a blue ash. And then we're gonna be doing a level three box color from Feria, which is like the hardest to get out. We have, we're gonna color, the, we're going to cover the entire spectrum of black color as much as we can using two professional lines one with ammonia one without ammonia and then of course box color because that is what is readily available to the masses so we have our box black color mm, you gonna focus okay anyways yes this is like the worst black color to get out this says that this is a bright black and it also says, it says level three on here somewhere. But it says level three permanent. Level three permanent. So then in my other quads, I'm going to do a level one. This is a 1A from Matrix. So this is a demi-permanent color, which means it has no ammonia and it's deposit only. Um, level 1A. 1A means one ash. And this is a says black ash so I'm gonna assume it's like a blue ash and then this is a level two neutral from Paul Mitchell focus yeah okay so two level two just natural there's no you know ash or anything it's just natural level two so we have a three a two and a one and I'm going to do different quadrants on the head to show each one and then we're going to go through and lift each one out with three or four different volumes of developers so you can see what they look like so i just opened this and it's so funny to me like they give you two packets of like restorative uh shampoo and conditioner like you don't have your own shampoo and conditioner home and then they give you a big tube of power shimmer conditioner glistens and hydrates yes because after using 40 volume on your hair you're gonna need it so then this is oh okay so i guess i haven't used box color in like 15 years so they put the volume of developer on the bottle for you um never knew that maybe that's a new thing i don't know but if you can look right here it says it says 25 volume right there so this is a 25 volume which is not bad but with my other two i am going to be using a five volume developer which is deposit only so I'm gonna mix this color together and we're gonna get started. So you can see this is already turning. I kind of got it on some of the other spots, but it's very blue. So you can see that this black, whoop, this feria color is like a really, it's a very blue kind of ashy color. Um, and the level one, they're gonna do the level one semi right here and then the natural right here. So let me get some new gloves. that professional color goes on much different than 
um, the box color because box color is like liquid gel color and this is a cream permanent color. see here how much slower like this still has some red in it actually you can't see because the lighting is terrible but this is taken really fast because it's 25 volume and then this is five volume with ammonia and so now we're about to do five volume without ammonia This one is a deposit only with five volume and it has no ammonia. You'll notice that on the hair, it is actually taking a lot longer to change. So this is our last section with five volume with no ammonia. This is our section with five volume with ammonia, professional permanent hair color, and then this is our box color. It's basically already processed. So we're done applying all of our black colors. This is our level 2N. This is our 1A in semi. These are both with 5 volume. This is our box color. I'm actually going to zoom in on this for it in just a second and show you guys. Like this is very blue. And even this 1A that is like has a lot of blue in it is still not as blue as this because we use a 5 and a 25. Um, what we're going to do next with this is I'm going to go through and I'm going to foil some pieces with bleach to show you guys the level of lift that black lifts to um, a lot of the pictures that you see like on pinterest and whatever they like black to gray that girl either had platinum hair and decided to go black which whew, that is courageous um or it's photoshopped so and i'm going to show you guys exactly why you can't have silver hair or silver ombre hair even from black hair this side with the box color her hair feels rough like this feels really really rough these, the, actually the permanent with the level five feels the best out of all three of them. Okay, so this is our box color. You can see it's very black, but it's also got like a blue black to it. And if we turn her, this is our level two natural permanent hair color. This definitely has more of like a, it looks, has more of a brown to it because it's neutral there's no ash in there so there's no blue it's just natural and then this is our level turn homie this is our level 1a in our demi color and she looks like a true black not too much blue just a very very true black true true black so let's go through these again Look at these next to each other. True black, definitely, definitely more blue here. And then if we turn these around. Oh, she is close, girl. Let's back it up. There we go. So more of like a brown versus like more of a blue. Brown, blue, brown, blue, brown, blue. And then these are and then this one is more of a, they all do look very similar and that is the point, but the underlying tones make a huge, huge difference. So this is what's known as a swatch chart. These are your levels of hair color. Um, this actually goes to 11, but it's one through 11, which is usually one through 10. And then this is your level of lift. So if you are here, if you're here, this is level one, you will when you lift you have to start in this like red orange tone and then you will eventually get to here if your hair doesn't melt off so everyone has to go through like these orange tones especially if i'm trying to like 
especially if you're in like any of these like dark brown colors because the underlying pigment of all of these are like blue, blue green, and that's much harder to lift out than warmth. So if you are a level like let's say nine to a six or so, come on light, there we go. Like a nine through a six, you'll lift somewhere in here, which is fairly easy to tone out. So let's get to foiling. So I'm going to be using, this is Kenner Professional Beyond Bond Lightener. This has a bond builder in it. So we are going to use this with a bunch of different volumes. So I'm going to be doing 20 volume and we will be doing 30 volume and we will be doing 40 volume because when you buy um, bleach kits from Sally's, most of them come with 30 or 40 volume so that they can guarantee the lift and that's not really the best. So. Mannequin hair is actually a super process. It's spoiled to make sure that it's clean and that it's colored whatever color you want to do. Um, so this would not be like lifting black box color off of virgin hair. This is like lifting black box color off of processed hair underneath, which is normal because most people have had more than one process on their head. Um, but the levels of lift that you get out of these developers and the damage that it can do to your hair is still the same whether you have virgin hair or whether you have processed hair. Processed hair is just going to have more damage and I'll show you what I'm talking about with that. Okay so we are going to start with we're gonna do 20 and then I'll do a foil of 30 and then I'll do a foil of 40. Um, we're gonna do this in all three colors. I've separated them out and then we're gonna let them sit for let's say 20 minutes. You can let bleach sit up to 45 minutes usually before it stops processing but I'm gonna let them sit for, but we'll, we'll vary, we'll see. We'll check it out when we're doing it. So let's get started. So let's see how we're doing here. So this is our 20 volume on uh, box black. Let's get a little bit more light. Okay. So this is just 20 volume, which is low and slow. This is how you should do it. 20 volume on box black hair. So this is our 20 volume on box black color. Very like caramely, like light brown. And it's been about 25 minutes. And so this is our 30. This is a little, and you gotta remember, it does have lightener on it, so it's gonna look lighter than it is. When I wash this out, it's going to be so much darker. So that's a little bit more in the yellow side, the yellow family. This is box black. Again, this is 40. So that one's looking pretty good. A little bit more, but um. Very similar to the 30 volume one. Professional permanent hair color with ammonia. So this is our, which one is this? 
I do believe this is our 40. So this is what the 40 is looking like. Thirty, still pretty dark. Twenty, but look at the ends. The ends are like looking really super, super white. Here's our forty volume. Not looking, not lifted too too much. Here's our 30, still pretty dark. Now this was the last section I did and I'm gonna give this about 10 more minutes. So this is just like a mid update. And then that's 20. They all look pretty similar. So actually I'm gonna, because she's a mannequin and she doesn't have any heat coming off of her scalp, I'm gonna hit this with a blow dryer. It for like 20 more minutes maybe 10 I'll check it in 10 since we just put heat on it and then if she's looking decent I will rinse her out and show you guys what it looks like so the reason that these other ones did not like lift as much like you can see right here how they're very orange like looking at my monitor because I want to make sure I'm showing you guys and then you can see the black box color you probably be able to tell better when it's dry, but the black box color did lift better. And that's because 25 volume that was in the black box color is blowing that cuticle open and shoving all of those color molecules, including the blue pigment inside the hair. Whereas the five volume that I used with the other ones, were not really opening the cuticle at all. They were only depositing color. Plus this one right here was, uh, has no ammonia. So, it didn't really, it literally just deposited the hair and it's a dim eye. So it's supposed to come out in X amount of washes. And I have used this on clients before and it has washed out. So let's blow dry this and see what they look like dry. Okay, so I, she's all dry now, and I do want to say that she lifted way more on the black box color, and I know that a lot of you are probably looking at that like, oh, that's pretty blue orange, and it is, um, but as a professional hairdresser and seeing some of the things that I've seen, this is really not that bad. You could do a lot with this. You can't do silver. You definitely can't do silver. Um, you could maybe do a dark gray. Um, that's possible, but you could do some fashion color. Um, you could even probably do some neon yellow. Ooh, now I want to put neon yellow on black hair. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff with this. You just can't do silver, which, you know, in the, in the end with it being black box color, it's really not that bad. And then this is our, ooh, girl, yes. This, there we go. This is our level two natural. Um, this one lifted almost all the way the same throughout with 20, 30, and 40. Um, parts of it feel a little rough. The black box color feels disgusting. This whole side of the head just feels disgusting, but it lifted so much more than the other sides. Like the ends of her hair feel like garbage. And this was the 40 volume section pretty similar but it just feels gross and then this is our natural our 1a dim eye color pretty orange pretty orange friends and this right here is broken I can see it you can see where it gets thinner at the top right here it is all broken right in here so yeah and this was the 40 volume section and you can tell because you can see how much lighter it is right there versus down here where we did 20. And this feels better. There's still breakage though. 
Let's see if there's any breakage in the box section. Yeah, there's breakage right there. So another reason to not be using all kinds of lightener on any kind of like dark hair like this, especially that's oh, that's processed underneath. Like for you ladies that like to go black to blonde to red to black to blonde to red, you are destroying your hair. Your hair will break off. So this is the whole box color side right here. And it just feels, you can see it. Look at that texture. It feels rough, girl. And I did not cut her hair. She just got a little bit of breakage. This side actually feels the best. The um, permanent level two color. So like I said, you can do a lot. There's a lot you can do with this. You just can't do silver. We're back with our beautiful doll head. And actually, can I just say I really like this mannequin head because it was super easy to get all of the color off of her, her face. Um, so as you saw in the video, we went through and we lifted all this out and where's the front of her head? Yeah, so she's feeling like pretty rough and there's like a lot of really cool things that you can that you can do with this this placement of color and the way that she lifted like I said before In my opinion girl, that's rough. That is orange. So orange. So orange um, In my opinion and the things that I have seen this is really That's not that bad like I don't know that I would lift it again because it does feel really rough and after, you know, the bowl of hair situation, the platinum spaghetti, the never ending breadsticks from Olive Garden, um, maybe don't want to do that again. So this is a safely lifted level and unfortunately for some people, once you put black color on your hair, box color, permanent color, demi color, non-ammonia, ammoniated, it doesn't matter, once you put black color on your hair, it is that's it like there's no gray there's no silver there's no platinum i'm just twisting her around like a shrunken head sorry deborah um but there's no there's no none of that there's no once you go black you don't go back that is a real saying as far as hair color is concerned and um you know as much as you might want silver or gray you really have to ask yourself is it worth losing your hair over is it worth destroying your hair over because hair does not grow that fast people I can tell you right now because this is all fake. It's like the only accessory that you wear that you can't, you can't take off unless you're wearing a wig or extensions like me and then you just feel really ugly when you take them out. Mm. So I hope that this was educational for some of you. I know that it's kind of hard to follow along if you're not a professional hairdresser. Um, I do want to lay out for you what the different volumes mean. So. In the world of professional hair color, there are different volumes of developer. And developer is the hydrogen peroxide that you mix with your ammoniated or non-ammoniated color. It's the catalyst to make the color oxidize because all color is oxidative except for semi-permanent color, which is fashion colors like yellows, pinks, rainbows, all of that stuff. So five volume is deposit only. There's very little uh, hydrogen peroxide in that. And then 10 volume, is like a step up and that'll give you about one level of lift usually in my experience it's like half a level of lift 20 will give you two one and a half to two levels of lift Th 30 will give you three two and a half to three 40 will give you three and a half to four now 40 <laughs> 40 is pretty serious and I don't recommend putting 40 volume on your head. A lot of the bleach kits that you see at Sally's, like I know a Manic Panic bleach kit, they have options where say 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever. Don't ever choose the 40. You'll lose your hair. You'll have a bowl of hair. It'll be just disgusting. Um, and again, is it worth it to lose your hair? Um, I don't ever go above 20 volume with bleach or with color. I usually use, if I'm depositing, which means I'm going darker or just adding color, I will use five or 10. If somebody has really like coarse hair or like really um, difficult hair, like I will use 10 volume just to like give it a little bit of a bump and put the color in there. Um, usually 30 and 40 volume I reserve for high lift colors, which I never use because I hate them. And a permanent color if you're lifting natural color. So let's say she was this natural black, nobody has natural blue black color, let's be serious. 
let's say she's this natural dark brown color that's in right here and I wanted to like lift her like two or three levels and do like a red or a copper or whatever I would use 30 volume with professional ammoniated cream color and I would put it right on the hair and I let it process for 25 to 30 minutes and that is going to give you like a really pretty natural copper red whatever color that you choose um, it's lifting and it's depositing at the same time and it's it's safe for the hair it's not like and it's only one step so that's really great there's no bleaching out and then putting on whatever if you want more vibrant colors like this yes you're gonna have to bleach some hair out but permanent professional permanent color does not come in this unfortunately or else my roots would not look the way that they do I think in the next video what I want to do is do some of my favorite silver gray formulas and I think I'm gonna do it on like a nice clean blonde palette so that you guys can see like this is not I might even put some on her and see what it does I don't think she's going to this is not this will get gray it'll get dark gray which will blend right in with this black um, but it's not getting silver there's no making no silver so sorry thanks for watching today's video if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the subscribe button um, if you haven't yet seen the bowl of melted hair there's a card up here in the corner for you somewhere um, and make sure you hit that bell so you can get notifications when I come back on because there will be more fun science experiments like this Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.